Hello learners. I am Dr. Usha Burkar. I am a teacher educator. The topic for today's deliberation is ICT in learning. Let us start our deliberations. Imagine that you wake up in the morning to discover that your institution has an adequate supply of computers and reliable networking. Imagine also that all the teachers as part of their professional practice are now confident in the basic use of ICT. These are the kind of classrooms that you are going to now, the digital classrooms. Probably you are still going to such kind of classrooms. Then what changes would be possible and desirable in a teacher who will be fit for the digital millennium? The teacher of today and the teacher of tomorrow should be one who should be able to apply and develop ICT capability. She should know about ICT as a subject and how to use ICT in subjects. That means she should know how to use ICT as a tool for teaching. As she is going to deliberate and learn how to use ICT for teaching, it is important to remember what Bill Gates has said. Technology is just a tool. In terms of getting the kids working together and motivating them, the teacher is the most important. Hence, it is imperative that we all know about ICT and how to use ICT. So, after completing this unit, you will be able to explain the meaning of ICT, that is information and communication technology, identify and use the different tools of ICT and integrate ICT tools in the classroom activities. So let's go ahead. What is ICT? As per United Nations Development Program and United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, ICT is defined as a diverse set of technological tools and resources used to communicate, to create, disseminate, store and manage information. Let us try to analyze this definition. Diverse set of technological tools and resources would mean using different resources such as radio, television, video, DVD, Telephones, fixed as well as mobile, making use of computer, network, hardware as well as software, making use of different equipment such as printer, scanner, pen drives, and also utilizing services such as video conferencing and electronic mail. All these technological tools and resources are used for communication, they are used to create information to disseminate information, to store information and manage information. So, radio, television, video, DVD, telephones, fixed as well as mobiles can be used for communicating and for creating information. Computer network as well as software can be used to manage information. DVDs, CDs, USB drives are used to store the information. And services such as electronic mail or what we popularly call as email and video conferencing can be used for disseminating information. All these resources we are making use of in our day-to-day -day life too. Therefore, when we look at ICT, we can say ICT consists of three components, information and communication infrastructure, we can also call it as ICI, information technology, we can call it as IT and communication technology, which we can call as CT. But what does each of these components mean? Let's have a look. When we say ICI, that is information communication infrastructure, it consists of physical telecommunication systems, the hardware that we see. It also involves services that makes use of internet, voicemail, radio as and television. 
It includes networks, cellular networks, broadcasting networks, cable, satellite, postal. In fact, right now, all the learners are making use of ICI to see this lesson. IT involves hardware and software of information collection. Hardware would mean the tangible instruments that we make use of. For example, computer, floppy disk, compact disk, USB ports. Software would be the programs that you use for information collection. For example, you make use of a browser to collect information from the network. This information that you use or collect is used for presentation and you also store this information and process it, that means work on it. CT or communication technology is something that all of us cannot live without. Telephones, email, chatting, all these are communication technology. These communication technologies facilitate interaction among students. Not just among students, but in our day-to-day -day life also, we make use of these communication technologies. It is through these communication technologies that we can disseminate information, share information with each other. So, we see that ICT is integration of information technology and communication technology. Dear learners, please note that ICT primarily has been developed in order to make our lives more comfortable. But today, we are making use of ICT even for the purpose of education. Therefore, when we talk about ICT, we can understand ICT as integration of information technology with different kinds of communication technology with the help of appropriate infrastructure. And hence, when we talk about ICT, it is also that ICT would play a very important role in our day-to-day -day life. It's a major role of information technology enhancement of communication. Some of the technologies that we regularly use in our classrooms, print-based materials such as books, journals, uh, articles. We make use of photography, pictorials, graphics, telecommunication and satellite communication. Some more examples of technologies Audio communication systems including audio broadcast, computer-based technology such as internet and email, mobile technology which we use rampantly today in order to communicate and of course wireless communication. Let us have a look at the tools of ICT. Basically, all these technologies are nothing but the tools of ICT. The tools of ICT can be categorized under three main categories, audio, visual and audio vision. All these three types of tools are used to communicate, create, store, manage and disseminate. We have earlier seen how these different tools can be used for each of these functions. The tools of ICT have great potential to facilitate acquisition of knowledge and developing proper understanding. For example, today, if you want to find out information about the functioning of a heart, we can browse the net and get the information. Or we can read about the information in an encyclopedia. To develop better understanding about the functioning of heart, we can even see a video to understand how a heart functions. Just think that for a lesson or while preparing for a class, how do you collect information from different sources? Generally, we may try to get information from textbooks, magazines, reference books, journals, class notes and other print resources. These are nothing but the print materials. But today, a teacher may also search for this information from the net. Collecting information alone is not enough. As a teacher, we need to present the information in the classroom and hence may require more time and resources 
which may not be available to all. And hence, very often one ends up feeling that your lesson is not comprehensive. To give an example, functioning of heart, you may get material in a journal, but you may not get access to a video as there may not be any internet connectivity. Often it may happen that as a teacher, you may have the material, you may have the access, but students may not have direct access to the information that you have. But the tools of ICT today has reduced gaps, has made not only acquisition and absorption of knowledge by students possible, but also sharing and collaboration in the classroom. For example, even if a single student is able to get a video on the functioning of heart, this video or the URL for this video can be shared by one student with other students. Example is use of Google groups to share information among the learners. This can also be done by a teacher with all the students. WhatsApp is one such application which is used in order to share information otherwise in our day-to-day -day life, but the same can be utilized by the teacher in the classroom. Therefore, we may say that the tools of ICT also has a potential to create learning opportunities for all types of students, including both physically and mentally challenged students. Today, libraries have been equipped with software which enables a visually impaired student to read. We find that the tools of ICT can be utilized by the student anytime, anywhere and with absolutely low cost. The tools of ICT are not a single technology, but it's a combination of hardware, software, multimedia and delivery systems. What kind of hardware are we using? Computers, printers, scanners, USB ports, networks, which are nothing but wires. We use a number of softwares. We have a word processing software. We may have softwares for communication. We make use of sound, we make use of audio, and we make use of several delivery systems in order to enhance our communication with each other. Therefore, when we talk about utilizing ICT in education, it includes desktop, notebook, handled computers, Bluetooth, internet, cloud computing, World Wide Web, DVDs. But keep in mind, this list is not complete. One can keep on adding the new innovations, the new developments in the field of information and communication technology. It also makes using of tablets, digital cameras, local networking, local area networking or LAN, we also use several applications such as word processors, spreadsheets, tutorials, simulations, emails, digital libraries, computer mediated conferencing, video conferencing, virtual environment, simulator, emulator, etc. Hence we see that some of these examples are representing the hardware whereas some of the examples such as the applications are the software. And hence, when we talk about information and communication technology, it is combination of hardware as well as software. The tools of ICT were initially created to make our lives more smoother. But today, educationists and all the thinkers in the society have felt that these tools of ICT can be used for creating learning situations in the classroom. It can be very effectively used to engage the students in higher order thinking. For example, a video showing Jalyanwala Bagh massacre would be more stimulating for the students to study about what exactly had happened during that era. It, it can be very well be used to create and sensitize students to our struggles during the freedom fight. Now the tools of ICT could fulfill different roles, informative, situating, constructive and communicative.
Let us look at these different roles played by the tools of ICT. Informative tools. Now, informative tools of ICT are those tools which makes use of sound, graphics, video and text. How does it help us? Informative tools makes or allows us to our make available of lot of material. For example, multimedia encyclopedias or resources available on the world wide web are nothing but informative tools. Although these tools cannot help to get real life experiences, it helps to present abstract information. Once again, let me give you the example of the functioning of a human heart. An encyclopedia will help us to understand how the functioning of heart takes place. So it may not give us real life experience, but definitely it will help us to understand abstractly the entire way or manner in which the heart functions. The second type of tools of ICT are situating. If information, informative tools gives us abstract information, then how do we convert these abstract information into more real information? Situating tools helps us to do that. Situating tools makes use of virtual reality and simulation games. Students often cannot be placed in an environment where they may get nearly direct experience through observation or practice in an artificially created model of real situation. For example, when we are teaching the topic of earthquakes, it is not possible for the students to be placed in an environment where there are earthquakes. But simulated situations will help the students to understand what happens during earthquakes. So these tools particularly help us to understand the abstract concepts. For example, in science, when we are studying electronic configuration, at that point of time, it is very difficult for the student to visualize what an atom is or how atoms together make a molecule. But with the help of situating tools, one can help the students concretize the abstract concepts. The next type of role that uh, tools of ICT play is constructing tools. Constructing tools, as the name suggests, enable students to construct information, construct knowledge, and for this, one makes use of mind tools and web authoring applications. Constructing knowledge as well as manipulating knowledge by visualizing one's own knowledge is what constructing tools helps us. Here, the ideas of information that is constructed reaches the world, the world including the peers as well as teachers. For example, use a concept map or use a mind tool in order to understand the, a process is what constructing knowledge would be. Or at times when you want the students to visualize or con construct or give suggestions of how to take care of the amount of pollution created in his or her own region, at that point of time, we can make use of constructive tools. The next role is that of communicating tools. Communicating tools, as the name suggests, are tools of ICT which are used for the purpose of communication. Therefore, these tools involve mind tools again, electronic whiteboard and web 2.0. Email, chat, teleconferencing are other communicating tools that have been used by all of us. Chats or communication can be synchronous or asynchronous. For example, chatting, Live chatting is synchronous and emails become asynchronous and therefore these are the kind of communication tools that are used by us for the purpose of communication. So when we talk about information and communication technology, we realize that this has made enabled changes in the lives of people, not just lives of people but their world of work and help them to interact with several persons and sources around the world. 
it has opened up new ways to acquire knowledge. I would say our life has become much simpler because of information and communication technology. But the use of ICT tools not only confirms within the sector of education, but also it has major use in different sectors like finance, industry, insurance, medical and management also. I would really go on to say that ICT tools actually have been developed for other industries or different sectors first and today we have brought it into our field of education. Hence, the tools of ICT are extremely vital in the classroom for creating and learning situation. Not just a learning situation but very effective learning situation. Also, this, the tool of ICT can help the students for collecting information and also give an opportunity for disseminating information among the peers. For example, browsing the net, reading, uh, collecting information from the net is an excellent way where students can get information up to date. Also, this information is shared among the peers via emails or chatting or by using applications such as Skype or WhatsApp. The impact of the use of ICT on students is highly dependent on the teaching approaches and better outcome which results when student-centered guidance, group work and inquiry projects are used. Let us discuss different use of ICT tools. The use of ICT tools in teaching learning process in pedagogies could be used in order to create a supportive learning environment. And for this, one can make use of situating tools and communicative tools. Situating tools convert abstract knowledge into concrete knowledge. And communicative tools helps to communicate this knowledge for among the students. It, ICT tools can be used in different phases of pedagogical processes. Uh, you can use it while introducing a lesson, while presenting a lesson and while conducting assessment. So it is facilitative in nature. ICT tools can be used as a motivating tool. It, can, it enhances student interaction. It also enhances student performance. Several researches have been conducted and it has been found the use of ICT not just enables students to perform better, but it has also helped to take care of discipline problems in the classrooms. So, let us sum up what are, what, what are the things that we have discussed today. In today's class, we have looked at the concept of ICT. We have seen what is ICT and how ICT is an integration of com information technology and communication technology. We have also looked at the tools of ICT and we find that all the tools of ICT whether it is hardware, software and multimedia can be utilized for the purpose of communication, for the purpose of creating, managing information, disseminating information and storing information. We have seen that the tools of ICT can be divided into audio, video and audio video tools. All these tools together help to perform the different functions of ICT. ICT tools can also perform different roles. It can be used as informative tools to gather information. It can be used as situating tools in order to create or help the students to understand concrete information or abstract information, concretizing the abstract information. It can be used for the purpose of communication, to communicate information with each other. We find that it can also be used for various purposes in the teaching learning process. We find that the tools, ICT tools can facilitate better performance of the students. It can be extremely motivating and it can create a supporting teaching learning process. In the next class, we shall go further and learn more about the use of ICT tools in different environments in education. Thank you.